So we're back working on this 2014 Chevy Silverado. I worked on it a couple weeks ago for the uh, trailer brake system, setting a message on the dash to say, saying to check trailer wiring. And I came to the conclusion that it needed the trailer plug because of a damaged connector. But I also ordered the trailer brake control module. Uh, I got an update to the Snap-on software this morning. And I'm going to try and scan it again because for some reason this Varus with the original software that I had 19.4 would not read the trailer brake control module, would not communicate with it. I had to use a, an Autel Maxi AP200 to, to scan the trailer brake control. So I'm just going to try to communicate with it one more time here before we go back to using a different scan tool. Uh, where is the trailer brake control module? Body control. Or maybe they're going to call that the chassis control module. Hmm. Yes, that's right. That's where it is. Trailer brake control. Display codes. It still cannot communicate with the trailer brake control module. So I've got the key on, engine not running. I'm going to exit. I'm going to re-ID this vehicle. I'm not going to automatically ID. I'm going to manually ID it as a 2015 just to see if that makes a difference. Oh, Chevrolet rear wheel drive, Chevrolet four wheel drive. 5.3 code C. Okay, let's see what it does now. Chassis control module. Display codes. DTC display. So, if I ID it as a 2015, which it is not, it's a 2014, I get these fault codes now, trailer brake control, solenoid valves, control circuit, the C1114, and the trailer brake power control module system voltage below threshold. Let's try and clear those codes. Clear codes. Yes. Continue. I heard the dinging of the message on the dash, and that C1114 came back. So, I'll have a look at the parts we're going to put in this. So I went to the dealer to get this trailer brake connector and I was at the auto parts store and they showed me this Hopkins 40975 and for the life of me it is identical part. In fact the uh, I was at the dealership and got the one from the dealer and took it out of the box and it was a Hopkins part in the box so I'm going to use this aftermarket part for the plug and of course I've got the trailer brake control module the trailer brake power module where's the part number here? here it is upside down no it was right side up now it's right side up here so that's the trailer brake control module now I understand this does not require flashing it's plug and play so let's see what happens so if you drop the spare tire and remove the secondary lock from this connector on the back here, you can remove the connector off the back of the... So you can see I've, I've taken it apart and put dielectric grease on. Now if there was a short in this connector now, the problem should be eliminated with the, the connector unplugged. So there's a couple of release tabs it looks like to release this and push it out of the bumper. So we're going to do that. So there's the original connector and the reason why we're changing it is because there is a missing pin in there. You can see the one terminal down at the, well it's actually at the uh, 10 o'clock position, sorry, 1 o'clock position is missing. But this is the aftermarket replacement and I swear they're made by the same company. They say right on there, Pollock, Pollock, same one. So we're going to put this one in, plug it in, and see if it clears the code, but I'm sure it's not going to. So we've got the key on, we're going to go back, back, clear the code, 
Yes. Continue. Display codes. There's the dinging. And I'm sure the code is still present. So we're going to put the trailer brake control module, power module on now and see if the code clears. So this is the new part in question. And as I said, all indications are that it's simply plug and play, no programming required for this particular module. So I unplugged that trailer brake control power module and it set a fault code for lost communication with the device on the LIN bus. So now we're going to clear codes. Say yes and continue and usually it took about three or four seconds and you'd hear the ding 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 on the dash display codes and there are no codes so something happened to that trailer brake power module and I'm sure we have codes in other computers for loss of communication with it and I had to ID this vehicle as a 15 even though it's a 14 for the snap-on scan tool to be able to communicate with the trailer brake control module Hmm. So we'll call this one fixed for now. Doing a network code scan on it, ID as a 2015 to see how many modules it pulls. Invalid data from the BCM. Tire pressure sensors. That's interesting. Added that code on another one. Invalid data that had tire pressure sensors missing. Hmm. HVAC control module power circuit low voltage control module power circuit low voltage well let's see what it shows how many computers 19 so let's do a code clear now they're all codes read by code scan Computers. Let's see, anti lock, transfer case, power steering, passenger, and one last time we'll check that chassis control module and check it for codes, and we have none. So, key is to ID this vehicle as a 15 even though it's a 14 so you can have access to the chassis control module and trailer brake controls.